Hey, what's up Lawn Care Nuts and good morning. I am here on a super humid Saturday morning here in St. Pete, Florida and I love this. I started sweating before I even came out here in anticipation for how hot and humid the day is going to be. What do I do on the most hot and humid days? I get out in them and I enjoy it because just a few short months ago, this was me. So I've got a lot to do today, but the biggest thing that I'm gonna do is give you guys in the north, basically the cool season grass types, I'm gonna give you guys an update for early summer here, because we're coming into a different season and there's a lot of questions that come up, and some of them surround step three of my hybrid organic lawn program. So we're gonna be talking about that today, but before we do, let's do a quick update on the backyard plug grow behind me. So you can see it is just beautiful. Now there's a couple spots that you're gonna see in here, like right there, that are a little ugly, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But I mean, you can see this stuff grew in really well. So, plugs from sod here planted close together, looking really good. Plugs from Home Depot over here planted a little further apart, also looking really good. All right, now I made a mistake though and I cut it too low. Last week I was going out to cut Frankenstein, the Bermuda there, which I've been cutting at one and a half inches. So I went ahead and cut out there and then I came and said, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this real quick. Forgot to raise the blade or the wheels and I, and I ended up cutting my St. Augustine at one and a half inches. Now it's come back, but it was looking pretty bad there for a while, but there are still a couple areas that I scarred. And it just shows that mistakes do happen even here at the Lawn Care Nuts house. So this is the primary area right here. And this, this hasn't really come back. And I think what's happened is, I think stressing it like I did has maybe allow a little bit of disease to get in here. We're gonna talk about disease today. I run this organically, so I don't have a lot of choice here. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to spray this with anything, but I am gonna try to bring this back with another product that's really intriguing to me, and it's in my garage right now, and it's an organic fertilizer that I've never used before. HGH, is this human growth hormone for the lawn? I don't know. Anyways, we'll be talking a lot more about Holganics here coming up soon. And uh, as you can hear, the sounds of summer are upon us. My neighbor back there is mowing his lawn. Here is Frankenstein. Now you guys will remember last week, I double, triple furted Frankenstein here. And anyway, came out good. I also went ahead and sprayed weeds again. I didn't film any of that, but I went ahead and touched up a few more pieces of crabgrass that it came in. And then I also put down a pre-emergent here. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in another video, but you can see, so all these areas here, this is where the crabgrass had taken over and now it's all dead. And so this is a question that I get often is, what do I do in areas like that, Alan? I killed all the weeds and there's, there's no grass there. Well, what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm just gonna be allowing this Bermuda to do its thing and take over on its own. And really I'm gonna do that just through proper fertilization practices as well as through proper irrigation all through the summer so that eventually it'll look like this. You can see I had a few spots where I sprayed some weeds so there's some dead area there a little bit right there but for the most part I mean this patch right here is just gorgeous if I just from now on I'm just gonna film the show from right there that's it that's all we'll have and I'm sure you can probably see all the sweat furrowing off my brow that is what I love about Florida and I will never complain about it and I'm gonna be vlogging all day here in this heat all over the city to show you guys how much I care about delivering you the best lawn care tips on the internet All right, so out here in the main plug grow, we got a lot of good stuff going on. I had to spray weeds last time, you saw that. The thing that I got this week was some rain help. Finally, we've been so... So what's happening is we're coming into our summer pattern here in Florida, which means we're gonna get rain almost every single day, and it'll storm really hard for like just 10, 15, or 20 minutes, but that's a good, hard, heavy soaking, and this St. Augustine just loves it. But you can see, I mean, look at these plugs here. This is the bitter blue. I mean, these puppies are jumping up and jumping out. Look at that. Bam. They're just moving. Look at all these runners in here. Gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, they are, look at, they're already starting to grow together in here. I have a theory that the plugs that you plant closer together grow together faster and not because they're planted closer together, but more because they can see each other and they wanna reach out and grab each other. They just wanna embrace and love each other. So the closer they are, the sooner they see each other and the sooner they run to each other. Here's some palmetto here. And again, you can see the same thing. Look at the runners coming off everywhere. Bam, bam, they're just shooting out in all directions. And these are planted much further apart. Still have a few weeds coming in here and there, but I'm gonna go ahead and let those rest. I don't need to be, you know, completely blanketing the earth with chemicals. I'm gonna let my grass do its thing for a little while here. A little bit closer together, you can see the runners coming out. Look at that, looking good. Really starting to move now. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do further updates, but I'm gonna do those all from around the city. First thing I gotta do is go get my hair cut. I'm not really gonna film that, but then from there, I'm gonna take you on my errands for the day, and we're gonna talk about cool season grass tips for summertime. All 
All right, so the first question that I get quite often that I'm gonna address is, Alan, how do I know when to start watering my lawn? And I know why you asked that. It's because most of you in the Midwest and the East and even some parts further north, you've gotten your first blast of that warm summer air already and you've started to enjoy it, but you've noticed that your lawn may or may not be ready for the transition yet. See, the thing is, your lawn will talk to you and it'll basically tell you, hey, I need water. And the way you know that your lawn is asking for water is when it gets that kind of dark grayish look to it. Sometimes it might be a gray brown, or if you've been using malorganite and you've got some fresh iron in there, it may even look a little browny bluish. It may even look a little gray blue brownish. Gray blue brownish. You guys know what I mean by gray blue brownish? Gray blue brownish. I've got a video that I'll link to in the description below that talks all about watering tips for those of you with cool season turf. Inevitably, when it's time for you guys to start thinking about irrigation, that also means that it's time to start thinking about some disease problems that might be occurring. You see, red thread's been really bad this year, but that should be pretty much ending. You might have a little bit of scarring left, but what's gonna happen is you get that first dash of heat for the year, then you start your irrigation, the lawn kinda, uh, kinda lags a little bit, and all of a sudden you'll start seeing some brown spots in your lawn. Uh, uh, uh. And those brown spots very well could be dollar spot. Now, if you remember, the project lawn at the church a few years ago actually got Dollar Spot. And Dollar Spot's pretty easy to pick out. It's literally little spots that'll start showing up in clusters, and they are about the size of a half dollar. Over time, though, they'll start to spread and grow together. The other thing, have you ever seen spider webs in your front lawn? Yeah, you know what that is? That's actually not spider webs. What that is is Dollar Spot mycelia spreading. So back at my home there in Indiana, I never had a Dollar Spot problem because I always had just enough organic nitrogen going that it would keep it growing through and healthy and Dollar Spot wouldn't really be able to take hold. I did get it in a couple areas last year though. If you guys remember, I did that watering the heat stressed lawn video. I'll link below to that. I had allowed the lawn to get a little bit too stressed out in the heat and I hadn't had enough nitrogen on it because I was moving and I didn't care and some Dollar Spot actually did start showing up. It was really sad for me to leave my lawn. I kind of neglected it the last year. I'm just such a horrible parent. Hey, good morning, Lawn Care Nuts. All right, so let's continue on this little bit. Now that I'm really looking at the lawn, I have got a lot of disease issues that have crept in here. It was just growing so vigorously all along, it was able to keep growing through. Now that it's gotten weak and gone into dormancy, the disease is really starting to make itself apparent. I have no idea what's gonna come out of this. Good thing I'm moving soon. <laughs> So to summarize, if you've got dollar spot as an issue right now, I would give the lawn a really good dose of nitrogen and I would use something that's going to work pretty fast for that. So I'd be choosing Ringer Lawn Restore. From there, I'd make sure that I catch my clippings and that when I do irrigate, I irrigate in the mornings and I do it deeply. And then I would get a fungicide. You guys can call Sebastian. He'll get you a good fungicide. You're going to put that down two to three times throughout the course of the season, about 10 to 12 days apart each time. That right there should keep you safe and clear from dollar spot. So just so you guys know, personally, I'm not a big fan of putting a lot of nitrogen down on a lawn in the summer. Even if I'm irrigating properly, I just don't need to push it too much in the heat. But in northern turf grass, I do understand that you can have mild summers and things can still grow pretty vigorously all year. So if you do want to apply another application of fertilizer right now, this is a good time to do that. Okay, so the first thing we should probably do real quick here is set up the timeline. So see here, step one actually filmed on 4-6 of 2013. So step number one, okay, and here's step two. Remember we did ringer. So step two happened on four, April 27th, and that is 21 days. Okay, and then step three here, remember this is where we put down some malorganite. Step three was actually filmed on June 8th. 30 days have to April, June, so 30 in May. 41 days there or about six weeks. All right, so not to make this too long and drawn out, you guys can go back and do the math, but I'm looking at nitrogen only here because I'm trying to look at my total nitrogen for the year so I can give you guys some more advice on step three. With step number one though, my, my nitrogen was 18% and I put it down at three pounds per thousand. So my step one, I got one half pound of N. So step two, we used ringer and I didn't show it in the video, but I put that down at the recommended rate, which is 7.5 pounds per 1,000 square feet, which gave me three quarter pound of N. So in step three, I told you to put down malorganite at a small rate of five pounds per thousand plus your starter fertilizer again. So depending what starter fert you're, wor you're working with, 
your mileage may vary. But the key here is, is that guys, don't put down more than three quarter pound of in. Even if you are irrigating, don't put down more than three quarter pound right here in the summer. We don't want to push too much growth. And in, and I also recommend that you use an organic source so that it releases slowly and it doesn't, you know, push the lawn too hard like a synthetic will. Don't put down more than three quarter pound of nitrogen, whatever you choose as your source. The other thing, if you're somebody that's having a summer party and you do need a quick, quick, quick green up, I'm telling you, Ringer Lawn Restores what you want. It literally greens up in like three days, especially if you get some rain. Another thing you guys ask a lot about is weed control in the summer. And to be honest with you, I'm just not a fan of putting a lot of weed control down in the summer either. Again, it's a time when there's a lot of stress on the grass already, namely from heat and lack of moisture. And so to put more stress on it, I just don't think that's a good idea. I don't want to put nitrogen stress on it and push it to grow, and I don't want to put weed control pressure on it either. Now, if you've got some breakouts of some clover, which could be very well be, or maybe you have some creeping Charlie that's still raging on you, then yes, you can go ahead and spot spray. Just make sure you watch the temperature limit listed on the label of the product that you buy. It's also best to spray weed control in the evening. I've got a video below where I kind of show you some different ways to mix up weed control and use a surfactant. I'll go ahead and put that in the description below for you. By the way, it is okay to put down another pre-emergent herbicide application here late in the season. I know we always tell you guys, well, you know, early June is a little bit too late for crabgrass control. And it is for a primary, but if you haven't done one or you even did one, why not double up on it? Go ahead. There's a lot of other problems that can break through during the summer that another pre-emergent app could take care of for you. Prodiamine would be my choice there. It's the yellow pre-emergent. You guys have seen me use it in a few other videos. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching all the way to the end of the video. Sounds like I say that quite often. I hope you caught all the little Easter eggs all throughout the video. I tried to be a little bit funny today, but I really hope that this has been helpful to you, just like all the videos that I do. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm sitting here hanging out, getting ready to upload this. Hopefully, this tropical storm that's coming isn't going to wash us away. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut, and I'll see you in the lawn.